Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. From this video session guys, we are going to start a new exciting playlist of WordPress called WordPress Metabox Tutorial for Beginners. So this, so this is our first video session guys. So in this video session, we are going to discuss about the some introduction part of WordPress Metabox Tutorial. So in this topics, we will cover called what are Metaboxes, what is a custom Metabox and about we will see the two functions of WordPress called Add Metabox and Remove Metabox. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching other playlists of WordPress from our online web tutor channel. So first question that is in our mind is that what are metaboxes? So just go to next slide. And now for that question, we have a theoretical concept that is what are metaboxes? Metabox is a draggable area with some form fields in admin, new slash edit post screen. Some metaboxes like YMCZ editor, set featured image, post formats, custom fields, etc are the WordPress provided metaboxes. Okay, so basically guys, if we switch back to our administrator panel and this is the latest version of WordPress that I have installed, that is something called 4.9.8. Okay, so this is the latest version of WordPress I have installed for this playlist. Okay, so basically guys, this is our WordPress setup dashboard. So if we scroll down, these are called meta boxes because as we can see that this screen says something about activity. This is say something about WordPress events and news. So if we click on that and as you can see that this is draggable. This is draggable. So this is called the meta box of WordPress. Also, if you go to WordPress events and news, so as you can see that this is also draggable. So this actually provides some type of information to our WordPress setup about the WordPress. So this is called guys meta boxes. If you just scroll up, now as we can see that at a glance is also a WordPress meta box. Quick draft is also of that. But now at a glance actually says means is gives some of information regarding our WordPress. Okay, that is WordPress 4.9.8 running 2017 theme. It provides some kind of informations. But now as we can see that for the quick draft, it is also a meta box. If we drag here and there, and now as we can see that we can shift our meta box from any of the position in our dashboard screen. Okay, but this meta box guys actually provides it will take some of the information from us and it is also a kind of meta box. These all meta boxes guys are present at the WordPress dashboard setup. Okay, so if you go to the post section, just click on that and just I'm clicking on add new. After clicking on add new, we can see that this is a called post formats meta box. As we can see, we can also drag and drop. It contains some of the information regarding our WordPress post type. Now scroll down, this is a category, this is a taxonomy actually the WordPress has registered. It is also a meta box. If you scroll down, this is a tag section. Basically it is also a meta box. This is featured image by the help of which we can upload our images to any of the posts. So this is also an example of meta box. So basically guys, these all are examples of the meta box of WordPress. Meta box are nothing. These are, as you can see, visits which provides some kind of information to the WordPress users. Because if we take a look over over this WordPress meta box, then this format actually contains information about the WordPress post type. It contains some of the information about the radio buttons about the post meta type. If you scroll down, it says about the categories of this WordPress post. It is says about the tags and it will upload any of the WordPress post, any of the image for this WordPress post. So all these meta boxes are made for each of the separate functionality in this WordPress setup. These meta boxes guys are not present only inside this post section. If you go to the pages section, just click on that, clicking on add new. And now as we can see that these are the boxes called page attributes. These are also called meta box. If you scroll down featured image, these all are the examples of WordPress meta box as well as if we will register any of the custom post type to this WordPress setup then at this situation or we also can see about these meta boxes. Okay, so just back to slide. And now for the summary point of view guys, we can understand that WordPress meta box is a draggable area with some form fields as we have seen in quick draft section form fields in admin new edit post screen some meta boxes like ymcz editor set featured image post formats custom fields etc are the wordpress provided meta boxes but we can create our own meta boxes too that is called custom meta boxes this means guys that we can create our own custom meta boxes too in the wordpress setup 
ओके वी विल सी फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल बट नाउ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अ कस्टम मेटा बॉक्स सो जस्ट हैव अ लुक व्हाट इज द कस्टम मेटा बॉक्स कस्टम मेटा बॉक्स अलाउज यूजर्स टू ऐड एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन टू पोस्ट पेजेस एंड कस्टम पोस्ट टाइप्स as well as we have seen in our administrator panel that all the meta boxes actually wordpress provides inside this post sections click on add new these are all, all examples of wordpress provided meta boxes also if you go to the page section clicking on add new and now these all are provided called page attributes featured images and many more things actually the wordpress provides these are called the wordpress meta box but or remember guys if we register any of the custom post type by own then we can also register our meta boxes to on that post type so user created meta boxes are called custom meta boxes okay so summary point of view guys tells us that custom meta boxes allows us to users to add in additional information to post pages and custom post type plugin and themes can use custom meta boxes to take additional structured user input some of the meta boxes guys in wordpress are made for provide additional information to the user why if you go to administrator panel just click on add dashboard now as we can see that this is also a wordpress widget which provides some of the basic concepts some of the basic useful informations to the user about wordpress events and news as we can see at a glance and activity these are called wordpress meta boxes because it contains some of the useful informations and now we can also drag it and drop from here and there okay but now remember quick draft is also a wordpress meta box now but it is taking some of the information from the user so we have two types of custom meta boxes means meta boxes second first it meta boxes can give any kind of information to the user or it will take any kind of information from the user okay so basically from the next video session guys we will see that how can we register our meta box and also we will see that how can we operate on that on those meta boxes and now we just put those meta boxes to our page section post section as well as custom post type okay so now just go to front end slide so about add meta box and remove meta box these are the functions guys wordpress functions provided which is basically responsible to register our meta box and for remove our meta box these are the functions this is a function add meta box used to register our meta box okay and this is a wordpress function basically used to remove our meta box okay so if you go to browser this is the documentation if you search add meta box wordpress then now you will find the documentation about the codex.wordpress.org just click on this link after clicking on this link you will get this page here you can find about the information about that function also wordpress provides one of the another website to read the documentation that is called developers.wordpress.org so just click on this again again and now we can see that this is also a document provided by the wordpress developers and this is the syntax as we can see that add meta boxes take some of the parameters some of the values from us to means register a custom meta box to our wordpress setup so guys we will see this function in action from our next video session where we are going to register our meta boxes to our wordpress setup okay so if we find the second function that is remove meta box wordpress it provides also the two links first codex.wordpress.org and the second that is developers.wordpress.org you can click any of the link okay so just i'm clicking on developers.wordpress.org just move to the documentation section and now remove meta box as we can see remove a meta box from one or more screen means basically guys it removes the meta boxes either if you want to remove one of a screen means either post be post section page section custom post type anywhere if you want to remove by using this function we can remove that okay so we also see this function in action from our next video session so this is the video session guys actually we have to discuss about the introduction section of wordpress meta box tutorial where we have seen that what are meta boxes what is a custom meta box and now about the functions called add meta box and remove meta box okay so from the next video session guys we will see these act functions in action and we will register our custom meta boxes to our wordpress pages wordpress post as well as wordpress post custom type So in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day